Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, this will be a very important video because we have to talk about something that has been reported yesterday on a lot of uh, Polish channels as well, especially those who are concerned about the future of Poland. Not just Poland for that matter, but especially Poland. After the words that have been spoken, Probably you've heard those words already, but I would like to read this to you, then give you another information that I have reported on actually this year in February. And the last but not least, to give you my personal opinion, what might take place, how Poland will react, and if Poland will fully go in into Ukraine and we will have the real full-scale war. I would like to ask you to join me on Locals because I believe that that platform is good and is safe. So make sure to join me there. I'm saying again, a lot of you are watching my videos and it doesn't take much just to join me there because otherwise you never know if you're interested in the content I provide. This is serious stuff, guys, and I am serious today because that train has not passed at all. And I had the sense... Sorry for the noise, but it's a big city. I had a sense that this will be the case. Um, it's not over yet. On the contrary, we're having preparations. And those preparations have been going on for a long time. But the words spoken yesterday by Anders Rasmussen, who used to be once the secretary of NATO before, before uh, Jens Stoltenberg, are straight to the point. And if people cannot uh, understand this, I don't know what will make them understand. Maybe if they have the bomb dropped on their house or if they have to put the uniform on without any rejection and literally march for what because no one wants to invade Poland let me read you a big portion of this article from the Guardian that many of you probably already read or heard of it but it's important I read this to you and then later I will give you my commentary knowing some dynamics in Polish uh, political scene what they can do. So, a group of NATO countries might be willing to put troops on the ground in Ukraine if member states, including the United States, do not provide tangible security guarantees to Kiev at the Alliance Summit in Vilnius, said the former NATO's Secretary General Anders Rasmussen. Rasmussen, who has been acting as an official advisor, to Ukrainian President Zelensky uh, on Ukraine's place in a future European security architecture has been touring Europe and Washington to engage the shifting mood before the critical summit state on July 11th uh, in Vilnius NATO summit. By the way, just a side note here, July 11th is the anniversary 80th of the Vowing massacre. Just saying here, those, those of people who don't remember, what a significant date to choose the summit, right? For NATO. He also warned that even if a group of states did provide Ukraine with security guarantees, others will not allow the issue of Ukraine's future NATO membership to be kept off the agenda in Vilnius. He made his remarks as the current NATO uh, General, Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said, the issue of security guarantees would be on the agenda at Vilnius, but added, that NATO, under the Article 5 of the Washington Treaty, only provided full-fledged security guarantees to its full members, which Ukraine currently is not, right, clearly. 
Now, the US ambassador to NATO, Julian Smith, said we are looking at an array of options to signal that Ukraine is advancing to its relationships with NATO. Here is the key point, everyone. I want to really focus on this. Rasmussen said, if NATO cannot agree on a clear path forward for Ukraine, there is a clear possibility that some countries individually might take action. We know that Poland is very engaged in providing concrete assistance to Ukraine. And I wouldn't exclude the possibility that Poland would engage even stronger in this context on a national basis and be followed by the Baltic states, maybe including the possibility of troops on the ground. Let's continue with his words. I think Poles would seriously consider going in and assemble a coalition of the willing if Ukraine doesn't get anything in Vilnius. We shouldn't underestimate the Polish feelings. The Poles feel that for too long Western Europe did not listen to their warnings against the true Russian mentality. A little bit more of him. He said that it would be entirely legal for Ukraine to seek such a military assistance. There is more, but I don't think I want to read this to you. You can read it. Uh, the link will be attached, as always, in the description box below this video. Um, before I give you my commentary on this, which I really hope you will understand, I want to say this. In February, I have recorded a video. Maybe I can find it and put down below this video as well. And I was telling you about the legion that has been announcing uh, a recruitment in Poland for people to go and fight in Ukraine. It was an official statement. I cannot put down below this video um, a Twitter post that on February has been posted with this because I cannot put the Twitter being here for some reason. But I want to read you exactly what was on that tweet post. This is from February 2023. It's a Polski Legion Ochotniczy, which means Polish Volunteer Legion. Now I'm quoting. Our unit is currently at the stage of forming the first independent combat group composed of Polish volunteers who are already in Ukraine in other armed formations, such as the National Legion or the armed forces in Ukraine. Which means, side note here from me, Polish mercenaries. Let's continue with this tweet. In the first place, let's invite people with combat experience to cooperate, only Polish citizens. The telephone contact number will be announced in the next few days. Each volunteer signs an official contract with the Ministry of National Defense. Yes, of the Republic of Poland. A little bit more. Yes, the unit will mainly deal with reconnaissance and sabotage, combat tasks. So the task will be sabotage task or a reconnaissance task. We also do not rule out we also do not rule out typical frontline actions. So what does this mean? This was looking like Polish speaking government, Morawiecki and the Minister of National Defense, so Błaszczak, the mysterious rocket disaster. They have been already recruiting people to that legion in February. Now those people are actually attacking the Russian grounds. And what does this mean? Theoretically, we are already at war, aren't we? I mean, do I have to add more here? Now, going to those words of Rasmussen, I want to tell you very important uh, scenario that I think might be the result of all of these uh, things happening right now. And what it is, why I think Poland will fully 
well fully to some extent why Poland might go in into Ukraine it's actually very simple because if the government takes decision like this if there won't be a disagreement or pushback from the citizens who will definitely don't want to participate in this if this will happen what this will mean this will mean that it's very convenient for them for polish speaking government to have those kind of uh, military uh, tension because they will not have the election the election will be postponed it will not take place and that means they will remain being in power therefore i have a very strong sense that they will go for it um, this has been in preparation for a long time what it means it means no election they are in power either this power is from warsaw or it's from another city in the world or in europe maybe from the mansions they have purchased somewhere in the south of france or switzerland or israel wherever it is uh, meanwhile polish men and then probably women will be put into uniforms and becoming ukrainians means their fate will be <laughs> going the direction of ukrainian fate those words are very important words i want you to understand that that's how evil works that's how the deep state in my opinion works they that's what they also do on the fake news they report something in advance they kind of put it out into your subconscious mind they want to prepare you for this scenario so you're already to some extent accustomed to it accustomed to this horrible reality they want to create and then you're co-creating this i know it sounds like very esoteric but unfortunately that's how this is so what's gonna happen in my opinion if people in poland don't object this craziness if they go with this uh, agenda they will have the same story like in ukraine actually even more harsh because russia until now even knowing all of this that polish troops and other countries as well are fighting there on the russian ground already they are already attacking russian lands have not officially declared the war they haven't announced it even publicly for the public because if they would say it publicly that means the russian nation would be like they are attacking us this is the war so in a way it's incredible they are preventing this war but in my opinion guys this might go this direction and then you have all those like scatter says chihuahuas countries litwa estonia baltic states those countries that are already in nato might be uh, to some extent joining as well but poland is on its own is the greed is the power hungry uh, direction they want to take this is my opinion and those words are not coincidental and this is preparation now time frame if i look at the time frame i think we are looking into second part of august beginning of september and why i said this because like i said november we have the elections so one more time i want to tell you no one in the polish parliament right now is is talking peace and is talking uh, peace negotiations no one which means none of them really stands for that so you understand those politicians are not going to the front line they won't they won't participate in these battles that they have created that's why i want to explain this to you why i think this might happen it just might happen because if there is a war going on if poland is at war fully engaged in it officially there cannot be an election well it could be but it won't be 
so they continue be in power and maybe the election will be next year who knows unless people will disobey and people will say no i'm not doing it so guys this is a very important video in my opinion uh, one more time i want to ask you to join me on locals and join my mailing list if you want to support me you know what to do you have the the book if you purchase great thank you so much everyone because i was very very uh serious today because this is not a joke it's never been a joke but now it's getting more and more serious and a lot of people still don't understand what's at stake in Poland a lot of people don't understand it and I know that NATO is out of weapons and this and that however they can still do a lot of damage and Polish citizens especially will pay the price in the name of what? In the name of the power-hungry uh, people who don't really care <laughs> or they are living in some delusion of... Uh... Anyway, I'm rambling now. You know what I want to say. In my opinion, it's a very, very high chance. If you ask me percentage-wise, I feel around 75% chance. Of course, everything can change but it's heading this way if we have such a words um, making a statement that summit in uh, in nato the nato summit in uh, vilnius might bring some different direction but to be honest i don't think it really will i think it might postpone this either way this way or the other there will be some attempt uh maybe some kind of uh, you know, it's like I know words are powerful and you create the reality with them. So I don't want to say, but there might be some events taking place. I don't want to be too specific. That might be the trigger. And it starts there. So I leave you with this, everyone. Um, it's a beautiful day here on the other note. <laughs> and now I have to kind of chill out after making this video because the news like this you know, are not easy to report and a lot of people don't fully understand why Poland is doing this. So I'm trying to tell you why Polish speaking government is doing this. Meanwhile, preparing the police and army and the planes to be ready to evacuate if the bleep hits the fan and buying properties in uh, beautiful places. So their kulos, their butts are protected. And the people who stay will be faced with the reality that they have created for them. Anyway, lots of love everyone. Make sure to join me on Locals and I will see you in another video uh, very much likely tomorrow. And hit that like at least for a little bit of my courage today. Lots of love. Bye guys.